Hi, this is just a quick and dirty tutorial on how to import custom kits to any team using Kit Server. Now before we start, you need a few things. First you need a Photoshop program with Intel Textureworks plugin. You can download the plugin from this website, I'll post a link in the description down below. Um, so what you need to do is just download the zip file, open it, and go to plugins and depending on what system you have uh, either choose 64 or 32. Now you need to go to your Photoshop folder it should look like this. Go to plugins and file formats and you just want to put the file here. Since I already have it I just need to replace it. And secondly you need cider and kit server Again, I'll put the links in the description, but I won't go over how to install those because that will make this video too long. And finally, you'll need a program called CPGE. So now we'll begin preparing the kids. So first of all, obviously, you need a kit in PNG file format. It doesn't matter where you get it, whether you made it yourself on Pest Masters or you downloaded it somewhere. Um, I got this kit from Reddit by a user called Spider1358, so I'll use this as an example. So first of all you want to go to this tool here, quick selection tool. You can change the size of it. What you want to do now is just to select um, all the sponsors um, including Adidas, Rakuten, uh, Beko, all of them and the team badge and the captain arms band. Uh, anything that might appear on the shoulder, you select it. Now, as you can see, I sort of did it quite roughly and see some of the edges I've sort of selected as well. If you have more time, you can sort of be more precise. Uh, you can change the size of the brush so it can be more precise but since this is a quick tutorial I'm just gonna do it sort of roughly and it doesn't really matter too much after you've done all that we want to go to channels you want to click this icon here that will create uh, an alpha channel and now you want to go to select save selection uh, channel you want to go to alpha one and add to channel and you should see something like this so what the alpha channel does is it'll make anything that's selected in this area that will go shiny. If you don't make an alpha channel, it'll still work, but the whole kit will be shiny and you don't want that. Um, so after doing that, uh, you want to double click on this to make it a proper layer and add a new transparent layer. And then move the layer down. Now this step is very important as uh, sometimes if you don't do that, you have this layers option grayed out. So to prevent that, you just need to add a transparent layer like that. So make sure you have these options, tick on alpha channels, layers, and then make sure you select Intel Texture Works. If you don't have this option, then you haven't installed the plugin correctly. So now to save it, and then texture type, select color plus alpha compression this one here uh, mid-maps auto generate and that should be fine now after you've saved it don't close it just yet you want to go to your cpg open the pest explorer uh, you can make a new profile or load uh, an old one doesn't matter Once you've got it open, go to File, Load Single CPK, and you want to locate your PEST folder. Go to Data, and select DT34, this CPK. This is the CPK that has all the kits. And then just follow all these extensions and then you'll find a list of all the kids files here. Now what we're doing here, we're just finding a template for uh, this SRM texture here. Maybe you can try that. Open that, yeah, that's fine. I think most of them they will look 
something like this just so generic um, what you want to do is export the DDS place that in the folder you had so I'm going to put it here and then go back to your Photoshop now go back to your kits here with all the selected areas go to channel go to alpha channel press Control and A so you select everything copy it Control C and then press this and paste it yep that pasted it it's just in this layer um, so if you move that like you can just delete this color layer so delete this one here so it should look like this and you don't need the alpha channel anymore so it should look something like this and then go to image adjustment match color source select that green file you had and then press ok so this will be your SRM texture so you want to save it as uh, the same name you had with the kit your underscore and SRM this option will be grayed out because we don't have any other channels for this so you save that uh, texture type color and compression just choose this one here save it now for the numbers and the name font files you can obviously make them yourself um, there's a tutorial by Angel J which is very in-depth and detailed and he also has his own templates I will link it in the description but um, since this is a quick tutorial and you could also do what I sometimes do which is just copy an existing file so for this example I just want to copy um, Barcelona's um, original name font and numbers so what I do is I go to pestmaster.com type in Barcelona and you see here that will give you um, the team ID which is 108 so go back to the CGPE program here uh, we want to locate U0108 so that's it so I'll just quickly sort of go over what all these means U108 is the team ID G1 means goalkeeper 1 so all these are goalkeepers this is the kits you see this is the goalkeeper kits we have the back number you won't see anything here I'll explain it in a bit chest number I don't think they have it but leg number name follow so what I want to do is go to U108 P1 that's the uh, home kit back number which is the gold gold one and I want to export it to the same folder here I don't need the chest number the leg number again export it I want to export the name and name X which contains all the special characters like you can see here now once you've exported these files you can obviously just use them as they are but sometimes you can borrow one font and then change the color modify it a little bit so this is how you do it so I have the back number file here and make sure you load transparency as alpha channel so now as I said before you can't see anything here because this contained also an alpha channel and this will basically tell the game what area of of this file will appear in the game so obviously you can if you uh, double click it you can change the color maybe just for the sake of this tutorial you can use paint sometimes might not work uh, you can also use image adjustment hue and saturation uh, you can also change the color maybe just for the sake of this tutorial I change this to purple okay now that's done make sure again you insert a new layer so you can save it as no, that's not right you can save it as with layers options so you can override this yeah, make sure you choose color and alpha compression choose this one press ok and 
and you can do the same with the other files as well. Now I've made all those files, um, you should have these six files, um, not including uh, the template we're here. You can delete it or you can keep it. So you have six. And now what you want to do is open this, go to tools, uh, go to ftex converter. I believe ftex means uh, fox texture. I could be wrong. So you want to use this dds to ftex converter function here. So click convert, go to your files, uh, your folder, select all your files, open, and now convert it. Now what you want to do is, you want to go to your pest folder, go to content and kit server, um, to open a folder, new folder, I'll just call it Blaster Fantasy. Open that folder and make a new folder called P1. So this will effectively replace the player one kit as the home kit. Now open that and put all these FTX files in there. Now if you've already installed kit server you should have uh, a lot of other folders here. Um, you can just uh, copy the config file from here. Go back to your custom folder, go to config files here. So now you want to open that. Uh, what you want to do is just to assign all the names, the correct names to uh, the texture files here. So kit file, that's the kit. So you want to make sure that's the same name as this one. So I've named it Barca Fantasy. So I'll type Barca fantasy back number files um, I have the same here so if I don't need to adjust that like numbers also name as well so that's cool that's done now while we're here we need to change the kit colors um, so what you want to do is go back to Photoshop go back to your kits um, you can use this what is it this function here to sort of detect uh, what color it is now this is the unicode color just need to copy it so the shirt color one will be this the shirt color two is the same undershirt will be the same shorts color is also black socks color is a bit different and that and you want to change this as well um, i believe one of these they determine um, the dots in the radar the color of the dots so just replace that and save the file. Now again go back to your folder here. Uh, I want to go back out, go open any of these, um, just copy GK order and order file. Uh, if you don't have these I'll put a link in the description where to download them. Uh, I just want to dump them in here. So in the future you want to make a second kit. You just need to go P1, no P2. I'll be an away kit and if you want to make and if you want to make a goalkeeper kit you can just put G1 and do the same thing just put all the files here now that's all done the very last thing you want to do is open the map.txt file um, you want to assign the correct number to the kit so um, also you need to delete existing ones if there is if you don't have these lines here you can just add it yourself um, I already have one existed here but I'll just do it manually so what you want to type is the team ID uh, which I showed how to find uh, on Pestmaster so Barca's ID is 108 comma quotation mark and this should be the file uh, the folder location which I just placed in here so I can just easily type Barca fantasy and save it and that should be good so we can now launch the game make sure you launch decider.exe now as you can see if you've done everything correctly it should work 
can see our ugly purple purple font here, purple color. And you can also use the in-game overlay to um, edit the kit. And you want to go to this one. Yeah, you can edit loads of other things like shorts, numbers, which side it's on. Uh, you can see now it's on the right. Change it to the left. We can make it. We can make the back number smaller. Oh, that's the height. Sorry. <laughs> you can make the size smaller. <laughs> yeah, so it's very versatile. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, that's basically it. That's just a very quick and dirty tutorial. Uh, there are others other tutorials out there which are more detailed but um, obviously that takes a longer time as well so yeah this is it if you have any questions just ask me in the comment section and I'll try to answer them